Welcome, bienvenue and willkommen. My name is Kelly Lamb, Vice President of Marketing at Mila, and welcome to our home. As all of you remain safe in your home with your families during these challenging times we all face, we want to ensure we are continue to be here for you, our customers. Many of you have reached out to us to ask about, to have questions about products that you have in your home, but also many of you have questions about products you're interested in buying. And in Mila Live, we want to be able to answer all these questions for you. In our past sessions, we've covered topics on how to get the best results out of your Mila laundry machine, how to properly load your Mila dishwasher, how to cook with the Mila steam oven. We'll cover a wide variety of topics during Mila Live. Pour ceux d'entre vous qui ont demandé d'avoir des sessions en français, on travaille actuellement d'avoir des sessions dans les semaines qui viennent. Mila Live is completely interactive. For those of you that have logged in with your YouTube account, you can leave a comment or your question in the comment section. If you're watching us on milalive.ca, be sure to register with us. I think registering with us is important um, to leave your questions, but also we may have some special promos for those customers that have registered with us during the show. I also want to take the opportunity to welcome viewers from our retail partners um, across Canada right now who are also continuing to operate. Um, in the West Coast, we have uh, Trail Appliances, we have Baker's Appliances, Avenue Appliances, and Jerome Appliances. Here in Ontario, we have our partners at Appliance Canada, Tasco Appliances, and Goman's Appliances, and out east, we have creative appliances. So I want to welcome those viewers from our retail partners. Again, be sure to go on Mila.ca to our, on our retailer locator to find out uh, where your local Mila retailer agent is and to check whether they're open during these times. During this week, uh, our theme is Mother's Day. Mother's Day is quickly approaching and it'll be a unique time for all of us to try to celebrate Mother's Day at home. Um, if you don't live with your mother, then uh, you know, we're going to have to do this virtually. But it, there's opportunities to continue to celebrate Mother's Day. One best way to do it, um, and I'm sure all moms would appreciate this, is a really, really good cup of coffee, cappuccino, latte macchiato, espresso. So I want to welcome our product expert, Dean. Thanks, Kelly. Hey, Dean. Um, so perfect Mother's Day topic um, and possible some gift ideas. For sure, is yeah. A, is Mila Coffee. It is, yes. So welcome everyone. Thanks for joining us online today. Uh, with Mother's Day coming up this weekend, uh, we thought it would be a great opportunity for us to showcase and do a little bit of a deep dive into our CM6150, which is one of our countertop coffee makers. Uh, we thought this would be a great time to go through it this week, um, as I'm sure many of us uh, who do uh, are fortunate enough to live with our mothers are probably planning how to celebrate uh, Sunday with our moms. Um, so perhaps uh, what we'll be able to do is inspire how you could make uh, coffee part of that celebration and be able to make your mother the absolute perfect cup of coffee. Or also perhaps we might inspire you uh, in terms of a great gift idea uh, for mom this weekend. So as I was mentioning, uh, CM6150 is one of our uh, three different models of countertop coffee machines that we have available uh, from Mila. Uh, our full assortment of coffee machines are available on Milo.ca uh, for you to see, and our countertop coffee machines are also available for ordering uh, with free shipping on Milo.ca. The CM6150 that we're going to go through here today, um, what we're going to do is I'm going to walk through for you exactly on Sunday morning how you can set up a profile uh, with the machines so that we can make sure that the coffee that you prepare for your mother is absolutely exactly to how she likes her coffee prepared. So we're going to go under the assumption that your mother really enjoys uh, latte macchiato. And so that's the, the, uh, the beverage that we're going to be going over. Uh, but before we do that, I'll just uh, give you a little bit of an overview of, of the machine here. So our countertop coffee machines, Kelly, these are uh, considered super automatic machines. So the really great thing about our machines is just how easy they are. With just the press of just a couple of, uh, of buttons, you're going to be able to produce a, a perfect cup of, of coffee. 
So I'm going to turn the machine on, and this is uh, the power button right here on the lower left. So I'm just going to power up our machine here. And I was mentioning that one of the really great features when you step up to the CM6150s is the ability to set up customized profiles. So with the CM6150, you're actually able to set up four different profiles. So four different coffee drinkers in the house can have their own uh, profile set up. So in order to set up a profile, there are a series of different icons on this menu bar. And there's one that looks like a, like a, a human. So I'm going to press that one. And that is basically my profile button. And in here, um, what I'm able to do is I'm able to create a profile. So let's create a profile for mom. So I'm just going to scroll down here uh, to create profile. And I'm going to click OK. And this is where I'm able to uh, spell out uh, and name this profile. So uh, what I'll do today is I'll just uh, name this profile mom. So I'm just able to scroll down through the letters. And as I come across uh, the letter to spell mom, I just press OK for the M. And I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to select the O. And, and the great thing about having the profile set up, Dean, is you know, for anybody with kids out there, if the profile is all set up, it really will be uh, easy as a couple of button pushes for them to actually get uh, a fresh cup of coffee made for mom on, uh, on Sunday morning. That's right. We're doing all the hard work for mom yeah. right now, just getting this set up. And then I'll show you just how easy it will be for her afterwards. So I've spelt mom. Uh, last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll back to the check mark, and I'm going to cl click OK. And that means that I've finished spelling out my profile name. So we now have a profile set up in the system for mom. And now the really cool thing about this, uh, this machine and these profiles is that the Miele, uh countertop coffee machines can actually make quite a variety of different types of coffee drinks. So in terms of the different types of drinks I can make, there is a button here, um, and it shows basically two squares. And these are basically all of the different beverage programs that we're able to make. So just to give you an overview of the different types of beverages you can make, you can make a ristretto, a co uh, coffee americano, coffee latte, hot milk. So this would be great for hot chocolate, for example. Absolutely. Uh, milk froth. We can even produce an eight cup, up to an eight cup uh, pot of coffee. So that's a really great feature. Uh, a lot of people might think that these machines are really just to make single, single servings, but you're actually able to make a full cup of coffee. A pot of coffee. And also in here, we've got our maintenance, which we'll touch on uh, afterwards. So uh, I'm just going to scroll down here until we come to our uh, cafe latte. So we can make uh, this one. Let's just see here. And the other great feature about this is that if I press the, the two squares, that's where I'm able to see a list of different uh, beverages. Mm -hmm. But we've also put on here uh, some of the most popular beverages. So we've got here uh, espresso, which is the single touch of one button. We've also got a cup of coffee. Uh, we have a latte. And we also have the latte macchiato. So what we're going to do is I am going to um, select. What drink, what drink does your mom like, Dean? Yeah, so I think I'm going to select the, let's do the latte. So right now, the beverage is preparing, it's preheating. And so this, so with this machine, Dean, it actually grinds fresh beans. It does, yeah. So right inside here, uh, this is the bean hopper in here. And we're able to just uh, put beans in here. And we also have here uh, the hot milk. Uh, so it's uh, just preparing the milk. We've got a flask here. And so what we're doing right now is we're going to measure, because we're setting up the profile for the first time, how much uh, milk we want to dispense. So I'm just going to let this continue.
So really, it is customizable by person. It is, yeah. And it tells us uh, up here exactly what different steps it's doing. Okay, so right now it's dispensing the coffee. And at any time, if I want to stop the preparation, I can just press OK and that will stop. And so we can see now the, the espresso being dispensed. And Dean, how many profiles can I set up with the 6150? So with the 6150, we're able to set up uh, four different profiles. Um, and within each profile, the great thing about this is that you're able to set up uh, specifications for each of the different types of beverages we just mentioned. So within the, the mom profile, we're able to set up a um, specifications to be able to make a latte versus a coffee oh, versus okay. an espresso. So there we are. We have our latte prepared. And I'm just going to put this up here for now. So a couple other things. I just want to go through the different parameters. Uh, when you're um, creating your drinks, um, you're able to really get very uh, specific around the different parameters you're going to set. So uh, let's, uh, let's try a different beverage this time. Let's uh, set up the parameters um, for, um, let's say, a cappuccino. So if I click on this, there's a, we'll go through some of the different parameters. So, one of the parameters is actually not even uh, something that's in the electronic programs, but actually something that we're able to manually adjust. And so what I'm just going to show here is that on the side of the machine, I'm able to open up the side door here. And what we'll find in here is this is where the actual grinder is. And we can just see how easily everything can be taken out. So this is what the grinder looks like. And I'm just going to put this back in here and lock it into place. And you won't be able to see on the camera, but there is also um, a, an adjuster here where I can manually adjust the fineness of the, of the grind. So the, the trick here is that if I choose to adjust it to make the grind finer, it's going to make the, the coffee beverage have a bit of a stronger, stronger. profile. So um, I've got here five different levels. So right now I've got it on the more coarse, um, uh, level, but I'm going to move this down and I'm going to assume that, that uh, sort of a medium grind it would be what uh, mom would like. So I'm just going to move this down here. So that's one of the things that you're able to adjust on the machine. Um, in terms of other things that we're able to do, and I'm just going to put down a glass here for a second. So some of the other things that I can do here, um, it's just doing a, a rinse right now. Um, but what we're able to do here is also adjust the amount of coffee. So if I click on here, I'm able to increase this. There's, uh, there's seven, seven different levels of coffee. So again, this will uh, adjust the, the strength of, of the beverage. So I'm just going to increase this to about medium. Uh, and I'm going to select OK. Uh, another thing I can adjust is brew temperature. So if I select brew temperature, I've got uh, five different levels of temperature. Um, so I'm able to select uh, minimum, low, medium, high, and maximum temperature. So uh, let's make mom a, a nice hot coffee. So I'll select maximum temperature. And Another great feature um, that we're able to set is uh, whether or not to do a pre-brew. So with a pre-brew, what happens is when you, do, when you prepare a, a beverage uh, from the whole bean, the first thing the, the machine will do is it will grind the bean and it will uh, compact the, the, uh, the ground coffee into a puck. And that is what it's going to pass and force the water through. And so what we're able to do is if we select a uh, pre-brew, and if we turn that on, then what it's going to ask us is, do we want to have a short pre-brew or a long pre-brew? So what that's going to do is, if we do select a pre-brew, it's going to uh, insert some water into that uh, ground coffee puck, and it's going to let that water sit there uh, for some time. So if I select long, it will sit there longer. 
short, a little bit uh, for less time, uh, before it dispenses the coffee. And that will also impact the strength of the coffee. So if you do choose to do a, a pre-brew, uh, long will make it a bit of a stronger coffee. So I'm going to select uh, on the pre-brew, I'm going to turn that on, and I'm going to select a long pre-brew. So again, I, I think, Dean, setting up these profiles, mm -hmm. obviously super convenient for the future that, yes. you know, if there's a drink that I always want, I've got it in my profile, I don't need to worry about resetting temperatures or strength of coffee. That's right. Everything's preset. Yeah, so once you've gone through and set all of your parameters, I'll show you just actually how easy it is. Yep. We're going to just with uh, the press of one, but one button, we'll make a uh, latte macchiato. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna grab a fresh glass here and I will position this down here. Now, one thing you'll notice is that this dispenser, you're able to adjust this. So the great thing about that is that you can accommodate different heights of, of mugs and, and cups for your beverages. And what the trick is, is what you want to do is you want to uh, manually adjust the dispenser down so it's just above the height of the cup. That way, when um, the beverage is being dispensed, um, it's not going to be exposed to air, which will cool it down. Um, That's a good tip for keeping, actually, coffee hot. Yeah, for sure. And the other great thing about that is it will minimize splashing as well. So I've got it set uh, just above the height. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go back to uh, profiles and uh, before we started uh, the live stream I um, had set up a profile so I'm gonna go to change profile and um, I am going to select my profile and I've got one set up here under Dean uh, so I'm just gonna select that and so now I'm under my own profile so what we'll do now is we'll produce a uh, latte macchiato so now that I'm under my own profile, I can actually produce it uh, exactly to my specifications with just one button. So I'm just going to press the Latte Macchiato button. And we can see right now it's, it's going to go through the, all of those steps and it's going to produce uh, a beverage uh, that's exactly to my specification and in a portion that we'll, we'll see it will match just the, the size of my cup. So again, really for convenience purposes, once it's all set up, one touch, don't need to worry about it and you really have a consistent perfect cup of coffee to your taste. That's right, yeah. So really, really nice and easy. So we can see right now the, the hot milk is coming out. This particular Mila uh, milk flask, um, mm -hmm. this does not come with the CM6150, uh, but it is available uh, for purchase separately on Mila.ca. So this is something that you're able to purchase separately. Um, or if you were to step up to our CM6350, mm. uh, this does come in the box. Uh, but if you choose uh, not to purchase this uh, with the 6150, uh, not a problem at all. The milk hose here, this comes with the machine. So what you're able to do is you'll just connect it to the dispensing unit and then you'll just be able to insert this into any milk flask that you might have at home. Perfect. And so, I love how the machine tells you at what stage in the coffee making process you actually are. Yeah, so it really tells you uh, each of the steps. Um, and of course, if uh, I were to make a mistake or something, or if I needed to stop it, I can always press stop. So that's a beautiful cup of coffee. Yeah, so that's kind of the, the signature latte macchiato. Uh, would recommend that you make this in a uh, double glass um, uh, glass so that you can really see the layered look of it. So that is what our latte macchiato looks like. And um, I'm just going to put this up here. So a few other things I just wanted to mention are that we have some great promotions actually on these machines right now. So uh, what we're offering right now is um, maybe I'll take a step back and I'll just talk about our coffee beans first um, because that is actually part of our promotion. So uh, we're really excited. Over the past year, Mila has launched uh, and introduced to the uh, Canadian market a line of whole coffee beans. And these are the beans that we really recommend uh, go best with our machines. Now, by all means, you're able to purchase any uh, whole bean um, and use it in any of our machines. Uh, the only uh, caveat there is uh, make sure it's not a, a flavored or coated bean, um, it, but any other just normal uh, roasted coffee bean will work uh, very nicely in our machines. 
Um, but we do have a line of our own uh, Mila coffee beans. And um, these, uh, these beans, they're, uh, we've partnered with a German private roaster. Uh, uh, their name is Vollmer. And uh, they've been in the business of actually roasting beans uh, since 1936. So they have quite a long uh, history um, and expertise in roasting coffee beans. Um, and so we've partnered with them and uh, we've brought to the market uh, four different um, uh, varieties of whole coffee beans. And we're selling them in uh, 250 gram bags. Mm -hmm. And um, the options that we have, we have one that's uh, great for espresso. And so this one is an 80% Arabica, 20% Robusta uh, blend of coffee bean. Um, it's got uh, some uh, sort of spicy and, and chocolate uh, notes to it. Uh, so really great for espresso, very intense flavor. Uh, we also have one that we called Cafe Crema. Uh, so this is one is a little bit of a lighter, uh, fruitier notes, uh, great for everyday drinking. And I, I got to tell you, Dean, that is... Uh, has been voted uh, for those customers that have tried it. Uh, the Cafe Crema is one of the most popular of the ones that customers have told us that, that they love. Um, you know, it's very smooth, um, especially for a non-milk drink. If mm -hmm. you're really enjoying coffee for what it is, the Crema is a really great balance between, uh, I think, flavor, um, but also really a nice texture in drinking it. Oh, that's awesome. We've also got the One For All. So this one's gonna be more of a fuller bodied um, uh, uh, taste profile. And lastly, we also have a whole bean that's uh, decaf. So this is gonna be great for everyday coffee drinking uh, where you're looking for a decaffeinated coffee bean. So we've got these uh, four different options. Um, they're all organic and fair trade. Um, mm -hmm. So really great options. Um, and so the promotion uh, that we have going on right now is if you purchase the CM6150 uh, for uh, $11.99, uh, this machine is normally $19.99, um, and uh, you purchase 20 bags of our uh, coffee beans, um, you're going to uh, be able to get a significant uh, savings. So uh, it basically works out um, that you'll spend about $300 on coffee beans, $11.99 on the machine. Yeah. Uh, so you're looking at spending about $1,500 uh, when regularly just the machine alone is $19.99. So uh, a great promotion uh, that we've got on Mila.ca right now. Um, we've also got um, similar promotions uh, where you're able to uh, save and also uh, try out our, our coffee beans um, on our CM5300. Um, so there, if you purchase 20 bags of coffee beans, you're able to get the CM5300 for just $6.99. And uh, our uh, higher, highest end CM6350, uh, purchase 20 uh, bags of coffee, and you're able to get that one for uh, $16.99. Uh, and that one is regularly $24.99. So some really great savings uh, and free shipping right now on everything on Milo.ca. Dean, uh, can I maybe throw a question out from, uh, so this is actually a repeat uh, viewer. So Leo from Oakville. Mm -hmm. um, so I know Leo has uh, watched us before and actually Leo in a previous session uh, actually bought one of these machines uh, for his wife's birthday. So happy birthday, Cynthia. Call out to you uh, today for that. Um, Leo's question is uh, in regards to the beans, mm -hmm. um, where, what is the origin of the beans country-wise? Yeah. So that's one nice thing about our beans is actually there's a lot of, uh, a lot of information is shared right on, on the bag. And Kelly, I know this is one thing that you actually taught me, uh, which is sure. that the more information, the better. Yeah, so I think unlike other things that we look for when we shop at a grocery store where you're really worried about a long list of ingredients, uh, you know, in regards to coffee, and I encourage any of you buying coffee out there next time you're looking, the more information you have in regards to coffee, the better the quality of the beans actually That's right. is in this case. Yeah, so there's, um, it's coming from a variety of different countries, but I know um, Honduras, uh, Nicaragua are, are, are two of the countries. Uh, we've also got uh, uh, beans sourcing from Colombia and Brazil as well. So it depends on, on the, uh, the, the variety that you're choosing. Um, the other thing I, I should note is that when you purchase our uh, beans on Milo.ca, um, you purchase four 250 gram bags uh, of one particular flavor. So you're able to, to choose uh, which variety uh, works mm. best for you. Um, 
And if uh, you're participating in our promotion, uh, we're, we've actually got a special blend, which we call uh, Black Edition Number no. 1. And this is the one that you'll be getting 20 bags of this. Uh, and this is a really great uh, everyday uh, coffee mm. uh, bean that's going to really appeal to basically the masses. Right. Yeah. It would allow you to make a regular cup of coffee, an Americano, latte macchiato. It, it's great bean for that as well. That's right. Mix of. Um, the other thing, I'm not sure if we have any more questions that I can yeah, cover. Yeah, actually, if I could uh, maybe throw a couple more questions out. Sure, um, yeah. So Fabien uh, Perrino has the question, uh, does the water tank accept water filters? Uh, if no, should you use a water filter like a Brita pitcher? Mm -hmm. So there isn't any filter in our machine. Uh, what we recommend is that um, you can use tap water, you could use uh, Brita filtered water. What we don't recommend is uh, you don't want to use distilled water. Uh, but uh, any, any type of uh, normal filtered water or tap water uh, will work really well in our machine. Yeah. But again, I think also depending on what part of the country you're, you're, um, you're from to, water levels differ. So Yes. Uh, yeah. Um, so another question, uh, Dean, I'll throw out there. So this is uh, from Raluca from uh, Saskatchewan who's joined us. Uh, thanks for joining us, Raluca. Um, can you use ground beans? We talked about whole beans. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times you'll have that one guest that either wants a flavored cup of coffee or wants a decaf. Yeah. Um, what options uh, do we have or do we have an option for that? We definitely do. So that's no problem. Um, what you'll find here is that at, on the top of the machine, I was mentioning this is where the bean hopper is. So I will just lift off this cover. This is where I'll put whole beans. Right in front of that bean hopper though is, well, we have here is it's a shoot and this is where you're able to put one scoop of ground coffee so uh, by all means you're able to produce uh, coffee beverages from ground coffee the only difference is that what you'll do is for each time that you produce a beverage from ground coffee you will put one scoop into uh, into the shoot um, versus the beans where the uh, the hopper for the beans is big enough to be able to hold um, in fact, on the 6150s, it's big enough to hold 300 grams of, of coffee. So you can actually hold, this is 250 grams. So you can hold a little bit more than one bag's worth if you want it at one time in the hopper. So uh, I'll go back. We have a lot of questions for you, Dean. So I'm going to go back to the viewer questions right now. Um, and uh, the Andy Sill, um, what happens when I put flavored coffee beans in? You talked a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. I love hazelnut, even though my wife yells at me when I put them in. Um, right. So for this one, I was mentioning how any kind of um, uh, coated uh, bean or flavored bean, you don't want to use that in our machines. And that's actually something that's pretty uh, standard for super automatic uh, coffee machines is that you don't want to use a coated bean. So a, a hazelnut flavored bean would not be a good idea. Um, but what you can do is you can uh, grind that hazelnut flavored bean first and then as I was mentioning, then you can put a scoop of that in here and you can prepare uh, your beverages using that bean if you wish. Perfect, so for the ground side, it's okay because actually it's, it's already grinding it down. The oils that, um, that we talk about with the whole beans aren't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, yeah. Um, the issue with the flavored, the coated beans is that the oils and the sugars that are used on the, on the flavoring of that bean is not good with the grinder. But if you're putting ground coffee into the machine, you're bypassing the need for the machine to grind it. So it doesn't become an issue at that point. Perfect. Um, and then I'll take one more question, then we'll continue sure. on a little bit. Um, so Fuzzy Yeti out there, I think that's also a repeat viewer of ours. Uh, is the frother dishwasher safe? So in terms of dishwasher safe pieces, there are some that are. So uh, what you'll want to do is, uh, I'll just show you a little bit about the different parts of the machine. So right here, uh, we basically just have uh, a metal um, uh, cover. Um, this, this is what your cups will st stay on. This, uh, you can just simply wipe down. This isn't something you'd want to put in the dishwasher. And then if we open up this, uh, we've got here uh, the cover uh, to the machine. This would not be dishwasher safe, um, just because uh, this has the, the exterior finish on it. But there are dishwasher safe pieces in here. So if we look at what's in here, We've got a container, uh, and this is where the used coffee ground pucks will be dispensed. Mm -hmm. um, so this will actually fit uh, 10 different pucks. Um, so you're able, you don't have to empty this every time you make a beverage. Um, the machine will prompt you when it's time to empty this. 
uh, if you haven't already done it yourself. Um, this is uh, completely dishwasher safe. And, and I know, Dean, you gave me a tip last time. Certainly around, you know, I think sustainability environment is a very important thing to Mila. Mm -hmm. So instead of just wasting those beans, yeah. you know, especially as we're into spring or heading into spring right now is, you know, for gardening purposes, it's yeah, a great it's alternative. Very nutrient rich. Um, so uh, gardeners, by all means, you might want to save these, not put them into the garbage, but uh, sprinkle these around in your garden and it would be really great for your plants. The other dishwasher safe pieces, and we even actually have an icon on, on the drip tray that shows that it is dishwasher safe, is the drip tray itself as well as the cover. And I really like this drip tray a lot. Um, mm -hmm. It's really ergonomically designed. So when it does come time to take this out of the machine and take it over to your sink to fill, it's nice having that cover on. That way I'm not going to spill. But the other great thing is that there's this triangular uh, cut off on the back corner of the drip tray. And all I have to do is just tilt this and all the water will easily run out of the drip tray and into the sink. So it's really like a pour spout. Yeah. Making it really easy because, you know, unfortunately you do need to take this over to the sink. That's depending right. Depending on where you have the machine in your home. Yeah. Um, also, we've got um, a four foot power cord uh, on the CM6150. It's uh, three feet on the CM5300. Um, so that's really nice. It's going to give you a lot of options in terms of where you plug it in on your counter and then position it. Um, so that's a, a nice, uh, generous length of the cord. And a couple other things that I just wanted to touch on that we haven't uh, covered off yet is uh, the maintenance of these machines. Um, so anyone that has owned a uh, super automatic coffee machine in the past will know that there is maintenance uh, that has to be done um, because they are such automated machines that there's, there's so much going on inside <clears throat> that maintenance is going to be needed. So in terms of what, uh, what maintenance you're going to need to do, and, and this is where the Mila machines really excel because they're going to make this really easy for you. Um, but what you're going to want to do is um, when you produce um, coffee drinks uh, that have milk uh, in them, mm -hmm. then you are going to want to rinse the appliance. So um, that is one uh, thing you'll want to do after you make a milk-based beverage. And that's very, very easy. It's just a matter of going in the programs to maintenance and selecting rinse appliance. And the machine is going to prompt you, if you don't do, uh, do it on your own, after seven days from the last time you produced a milk-based beverage, it is going to ask you to clean the milk pipework. Mm -hmm. And for that, on Milo.ca, uh, there are a few consumables that you're going to want to purchase. And I'm just going to take some samples here. So the milk pipe work uh, is available on Milo.ca. It comes in a box like this. Um, and the machine is going to walk you through step by step exactly what to do with this product in order to um, uh, clean the milk pipe work. The other maintenance task that your uh, machine will ask you to do from time to time is uh, to use these cleaning tablets to degrease the, the brew unit. Um, so these are also available on Mila.ca uh, and very, very easy. It's just going to walk you through uh, what to do with these. And the last uh, maintenance is using descaling tablets to descale the machine. So I think we were mentioning before about uh, water hardness mm -hmm. and how depending on your property or the community you live in, uh, you might have soft water, you might have hard water. The good thing is these machines are capable of working uh, in, with water that is hard or soft, so you won't have to worry about that. Uh, but the descaling uh, tablets, uh, the harder the water, the more often you will need to descale. And the machine is going to let you know um, when it's time to do that. Uh, and also you're able to set um, in uh, the machine exactly what the water hardness is. So you're able to select soft. Uh, there's different levels that you can select there as well. So that's a little bit about the maintenance of the machines. Well, and again, I think with the maintenance, as with other aspects of the machine, it really will prompt you. Yes. Um, so you won't be blindsided by knowing when. It really will tell you when you need to go ahead and clean. Yeah, it's, it really does make it nice and easy for you. So, Dean, one last question for sure. you. Um, so we have uh, Joanne from Newmarket. Mm -hmm. um, Joanne's question is, she knows that Mila has uh, a feature on some of the other machines called One Touch for Two. Yes. Um, is this available on the 6150? It is, yeah. So this is a really great option. Um, I don't have any empty glasses, but just to give you an idea of how this would work, 
if you imagine the glasses were empty. <laughs> That's right, yeah. So uh, what you can do is, with this machine, the beverages that we were demonstrating earlier preparing, we prepared one beverage at a time. But what you're able to do with a Mila 6150 is actually produce two beverages simultaneously at the same time. And this is a feature that's right on the machine here. It basically shows two cups, and that is our one touch for two button. So what you'll do is prior to selecting your beverage, you'll press the one touch for two and then select your beverage, and it will then uh, dispense two beverages simultaneously. So really going to save you a lot of time. Um, you know, on uh, Mother's Day morning, for example, uh, you won't have to be uh, making everyone's uh, beverage. Um, and you'll be able to spend more time with mom uh, you know, ha having conversations while the machine is doing the work for you. Great. I, I think that's been a great information session, Dean, on not just the, the machine itself, but really also the coffee beans uh, and the different types of coffee we can make. So, so thanks for that. Oh, you're welcome. Um, I know that the 6150 doesn't come with the milk flask. That's right. Um, but I think because it's Mother's Day, uh, we want to at least provide, uh, I guess, a special bonus for our viewers out there right now that are interested in buying the 6150 for mom. For sure, yeah, so we really appreciate you joining us. Um, leading up to Mother's Day, uh, we've definitely put our strongest uh, promotions uh, uh, lately on these machines, and, but just to give you something extra to consider if you are looking to order this uh, today, this Mila Milk Flask, uh, we will be offering a 15% discount on the purchase of this, um, and the all you have to do is you just have to be registered for this Mila Live session. Uh, so if you haven't done that uh, yet, uh, definitely would encourage you to register uh, before the session ends. And after this session, um, if you've already registered, uh, we'll be emailing out a promo code uh, that you'll be able to enter into Mila.ca uh, in order to purchase and get a 15% discount on our milk flask. Perfect. Um, thanks, Dean. That was a great session. Thanks I know so you're uh, back with us later this week yes. to talk about uh, another important product to kind of make sure your houses are clean to celebrate Mother's Day. We're going we're gonna to talk a little bit in more detail about the bagless uh, meal of vacuum cleaner. That's right. Yeah. So, Looking forward to being yeah, back. Yeah, that'll be great. So thanks for that. Um, at 5 o'clock today, um, we're going to carry on Dean's theme of coffee. And we're gonna have our product expert and chef Marilyn with us. And we're gonna share with you a three course coffee inspired menu uh, that we've developed using the Mila coffee beans. So hopefully you'll join us back for that. Uh, a lot of you had questions about where can I buy Mila appliances right now? Uh, again, I think we're all faced with a very unique uh, environment that we're living in throughout Canada today and around the world. Uh, but we wanna make sure that we're still here for you. Dean mentioned, again, Mila.ca, it's open 24 seven. Um, you can purchase online uh, there. So uh, visit Mila.ca. A second option for you is our, using our new service, the virtual sales consultation. You can book an appointment, a private appointment on Mila.ca where you'll be able to interact one-on-one -on -one in a two-way video conference with one of our product experts that will actually be in front of the appliance that you're actually interested or have questions about before you're buying. Um, it, it's very personal. You can ask specific questions. They'll be able to demonstrate the product for you as well. Uh, that's an all new service. You can book that on Mila uh, MilaLive.ca. Um, and uh, they can also take uh, your order during that consultation as well. So be sure to take that. As mentioned earlier in the show, visit Mila.ca to find out uh, where your local Mila chartered agent is uh, or Mila dealer um, and support them as well. Just check if they're open. You can find out on uh, Mila.ca there. For those of you that are interested in buying or additional services that we have, so our Mila installation delivery and also our in-home technical service are fully operational across the country. We have amended our processes uh, in order to ensure the safety of you, our customers, as well as our team. Be sure to visit Mila.ca again there for all the details. Very lastly, we all want to make sure we continue to celebrate. We have Mother's Day coming up. Father's Day is about a month from now. Um, a great gift idea if you don't want to buy a coffee machine, but you want to help towards uh, a gift. Um, is visit Mila.ca and you can buy the all new Mila e-gift card. 
and it's an easy way to share a gift with a family or friend um, again because we feel it's really still important for us to all continue to try to celebrate with friends and family. Be sure to turn your notification and subscription on uh, on your YouTube channel to get the latest information about our Milo Live broadcasts as well as new videos that we are posting on a daily basis. And on behalf of Dean, myself, and the entire Mila team, we want to send a very, very big thank you to all the frontline workers that are out there servicing all the communities across Canada, ensuring that those that require medical attention receive the services that they require. Frontline grocery stores, food deliveries, restaurants providing those food deliveries, um, public transportation, everybody out in the front line. We honestly uh, applaud your bravery. We wish you um, all the safety in the world and we encourage everybody to continue to stay home um, to be sure that we will get through this. So we wanna thank you again and we hope to see you at the next session of Meal Alive.